Hello, in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to successive matrix transformations. All this means is say we have two different transformations, A and B, and we want to apply them both to a point. So I wanna apply the transformation A and then the transformation B. We're gonna look at how this works and maybe how we could represent this as just one overall transformation. So I'll timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can skip through to the specific part you wanna see. And if it is useful, then please do like and subscribe. Okay, so before we start, one thing I want to talk about is the fact that matrix multiplication is what we call associative. Now, to demonstrate what this means, say we have an object that we'll call X. Now, this could be a point, it could be a shape, it could be any matrix, okay? And what I'm going to do is transform it by a matrix A. Okay, so I'm going to multiply it on the left by the matrix A. Okay, now I'm going to take the answer to this, whatever this is, so this will be the new transformed shape or point or whatever, and we're going to transform it a second time by a new matrix B, like so. Okay. Now, the fact that matrix multiplication is associative means that this is exactly the same as doing matrix B multiplied by matrix A, and then taking the resulting matrix and multiplying it, whoops, multiplying it by X, by the object. Okay. And so what this means is if we're applying two transformations, say transformation A, and then transformation B to a matrix. Well, this could be done in one given matrix by saying that it's equal to C, which is just B multiplied by A. Okay, and that's what we're gonna kind of look at in this video. So here's a question where we have a shape which is transformed by matrix A, okay, and that transformation is a reflection in the x-axis, and then it's transformed a second time by the matrix B, which is a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. And the first part is to find the matrix A. Now, if you've forgotten how to do this, how to find a transformation matrix, all you need to do is see what happens to the points 1, 0, and 0, 1 under the transformation. So for matrix A, that's a reflection in the x-axis. Well, the point 1, 0 is going to remain fixed. So that's the first column of my transformation matrix. And the point 0, 1, well, that's reflected down, and it's going to become the point 0, negative 1. So that's my matrix A. Let's now do the same thing to find matrix B, which is a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So the point one zero, that's gonna be rotated round, and that's gonna become the point zero one. And the point zero one is gonna be rotated round and turn into the point negative one zero, like so. Okay, part three says find the matrix C, which is a transformation uh, of A followed by B. Now a common mistake might be to do a multiplied by B, but if we go back up, you'll notice that if we do transformation A, whoops, let me use a highlighter, transformation of A followed by B, that's actually to work out that overall transformation, we're doing B multiplied by A, so let's do that now. So I'm gonna take my matrix B and copy it down, and then take my matrix A and copy that down. So here, I'll write out to make it really clear, we're doing B multiplied by A, and we're gonna get the resulting matrix of zero, one, one, zero. Okay, so let's now look at the fourth part, which says the point Q, which has the coordinates two, six, is transformed by A followed by B to a new point Q prime. Find its coordinates. So you could do it the long way, okay? You could take the point Q, two, six, multiply it by A, uh, which is one, zero, zero, negative one, get the answer and then multiply that by B. Or, okay, the quicker way to do this would just be to get our new matrix and multiply it by the point Q. And we get a new point which has the coordinates six and two, okay? So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I have tons of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.